sometimes you're digging and you find worms and that's good for your garden and then sometimes you're digging and you find worms ha it's a world record it's the guinness book of world record Out here searching for what? Uh, rotten branches. Decomposed branches. I'm going to start the bottom of my raised bed garden. The bottom of it is going to be nice decomposed branches and logs. It's going to be the very bottom. And then we're going to slowly build as we go up. The nice organic material will get smaller and smaller all the way up to the very top. And this is the first mission of 2021 Smith Garden. Let's find some nice decomposed, rotting logs and big sticks. Those are a little small, but we'll, we could start with that. Come check this out. I'm gonna show the example I'm looking for. So look at this one. See, it's nice, it's kind of crumbly. You could almost break it apart with your hand. The wood is kind of soft and crumbly. Yeah. So let's, <laughs> let's start with that. I found a little gold mine over here, look at this. See, this is kind of just look just comes apart in my hand that's what i want at the bottom it's going to decompose underneath everything else and it's going to give a little space at the bottom look perfect look at lincoln look at this see i lifted this one up it's got look at these look at these termites yeah it's good it's all just breaking I apart I and it's got little little bugs and little termites in there that that's what we want this is a cricket yeah we want these creatures to help grow our food. See, it's kind of mushy. I love that. That's perfect. That's what we need. We need a lot of it, guys. A lot of it. Is it mushy? Perfect. Grab it. That's what I'm talking about, guys. A decomposed spongy wood. You ready to go load this in the bins? Ready? Let's load them. Load them all up. Oh, yeah. Grab some and put it in a bin. I got it. Okay, go for it. And make sure you get bugs. Yeah. Phase one's finished. We've got nice decomposed logs at the bottom of all the bins. And now it's time for phase two, wood chips in the tractor. Let's get a load. Let's cover these decompose logs with some nice wood chips from the trees that fell during the storm. Okay, I want all of these, these shavings, these chips put into the bins and I wanna cover up the logs. Once we get that layer that completely hides the logs, that's when we know we're done. Oh yeah, so after this? Then, then we're not done, we're, that's just the next phase. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay, so we have all eight bins. We've got the decomposed logs. We've got the wood chips on top of them. This should be done then. The nope. next phase is everybody jump in a bin and smash them down as much as you can. What? Smash them down. Smash them good. Smash them real good. Make it flat. This is actually kind of fun. You ready for this? Yes. Yeah. Excited? Yes. You excited? Yes. Yeah. Should I look now? Yes. Yeah. All right. This is 
just gonna get one more load. One more? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do another one. Back at the house, we pulled the truck into the garden. We started filling the beds. That was not good. How are you doing there? Are you making it into the to the actual bed? Yes. Okay. All right. We got a lot of work to do. We'll touch base in a second. We've made some serious progress. Look at this truck now. Wait, get down. And most of them are filled. Now I'm filling these little guys. Lincoln's rocking. Lennon's rocking. Yeah, because she really is rocking. First one? Yep. Good job, dude. Crushing it. Load it up. Everybody's got dirt. And truck is empty. Now I have some of this turkey compost. I'm gonna put in and kind of dress it over the top and kind of mix it in a little bit on the top. That's the next step. You've been working hard. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's even worse. Look right here. Oh my goodness. What's that, babies? One second. Let's harvest the bottom first. Look at that. Why are they so this is the first time we've harvested this on camera, right? So the worms have been working hard to make this whole chunk soil. Smells like it boiled eggs in here. Well, <laughs> well it's there's all a lot of your eggs in here. A lot of scraps, honey. That is pungent. Delicious for the garden. Okay, let's harvest some worms. I would say grab, just start grabbing them like that. Kitchen stuff right there. That's a banana peel. Mama, hmm. I know your face and Daddy's face. Ready? This is yours. What? <laughs> and this is Daddy. Wait. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we're gonna try to. I know your. Oh, I know. I know. Your food is in his truck. We're gonna try to go equal. Four worms in each, in each bed. I don't okay. know how we're going to do that. I make babies. Okay, last phase of today's getting the beds ready is I have some homemade mulch. This is is wood chips that are about eight months old so I'm gonna to top dress to protect um, everything that I've done with this homemade mulch I'm also going to, to dispel the common rumor that wood chips absorb too much nitrogen from the soil and from the other plants I'm gonna dispel that rumor by showing you guys some amazing vegetables whenever we make them last little step and then i'm going to use the, uh, the brand new wood chips that we just cut to kind of fill the rest of this ground in here just to make it easy to walk in when the grass starts growing up and i've lost my help just not not a surprise but it's just me and uh, a few more things here we go that's it and look how beautiful this looks Homemade mulch, look at that, look at that.
not only is that rich in nutrients, not only does that hold in my moisture and the soil that I put in, but even better than all that, it was free. It was free. That was a tree that, that had to come down when we built the house. So we're able to use that back into to the land, which is, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna fill this the rest of this ground with uh, the rest of the fresh wood chips. And then, since it, this is still kind of a new property, I haven't gone through a full season. So then over here, outside the, the garden, I'm gonna start my composting. So I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna do the, the classic wood pallet, which we have a ton of pallets at Yee Yee Apparel. So I'm gonna use the classic wood pallet uh, composting, like a three bin system. So I'll be able to use the chicken bedding and any other of this, these scraps that I have, plus the kitchen scraps, plus the tumbling compost right here so i'll have the tumbling compost i'll have the worm compost i'll have the bin compost over here we're gonna be rocking check back in a year next time i put up this garden it's gonna be so fun and this fall when the garden's done this is big enough this area where i could roll in my chicken tractor in here and let out five or six of the hens and they'll just jump in here and jump on these beds and eat up what's left and dig it all up it'll be really awesome next year so that's my update that's my garden update hey guys so i'm excited about tonight tonight i get to go help host the big art auction it's called the big late night show tonight and you guys have heard me talk about big before it's such an incredible organization it's brookwood in georgetown and it is a cafe, a shop, a greenhouse. Most everything made in that shop is created by the citizens. And what BIG is, is it is a place for citizens, adults with disabilities to come and work and put their amazing abilities, bring them to life, creating pieces of pottery and jewelry, working in the bakery, baking amazing pies. Gosh, I could go on and on and on about all the things that these amazing citizens do and create. And it's, it's a place for them to feel belonging, you know, after after high school or after college, you know, to get into the workforce world and, and, and bring their abilities to the world. And I think it's just an, incre an incredible place, an incredible ministry. And I met the owner, Aaron, at my grief share class whenever I lost Riv. And Aaron started big back, I want to say it opened in 2011, but she had been looking for, I think she had found the spot before then. She has just grown big into such an incredible, incredible organization. She started it, um, her daughter Gracie was born with Down syndrome. And at, I believe three, two or three years old, she developed uh, leukemia, a very aggressive form of leukemia. And through 10, I think 10, chemotherapy treatments and radiation and stuff she suffered she ended up suffering a brain injury and that left her fully dependent so it was a really really hard hard time for for the kilts family but they are so faithful and Gracie is I never got to meet her I wish I got to meet her because I heard so much about her through grief share by sharing you know our lo our losses and um, just her photo she just has this amazing radiant smile and you just look at her and watch videos of her and she just radiates joy and sunshine and love. So I didn't get to meet her, but I, I, I know her mama and I know their family. I'm honored to be able to go and help tonight. So what tonight is, it is their big art auction of the year. So every year they have the citizens that are there. Um, there's three different locations in Texas. They have all the citizens at the different locations create these incredible art pieces. So they work on these throughout the year. Sometimes they work individually, sometimes they work in teams, but I cannot tell you how incredible these pieces are and so they auction them off once a year every year the money that they raise helps to fund the program going forward one of my favorite pieces is called risen that i saw today so i'll show you that right here it's got all the details of like music notes i love how that looks like a butterfly and then if you look close there's like maps it is stunning there's a few other amazing pieces there's one called blossoming joy and it's this this glass piece with all these pressed wildflowers in it. It is stunning. I love it so much. There is this piece called Puzzling. It has all these puzzle pieces all on there. And I just, the vision that these amazing artists have just amazes me. And this is only my second year going. I, I don't even have enough adjectives to describe how amazing these pieces are and, and how stunning they are. And so I hope we raise a lot of money tonight. I'm honored to be able to go and help host uh, the auction tonight. We want to show you some things that have caught our eye tonight. So I'm going to show you something right over here. Follow me over here. Amber's already bidding on this one. I'm so already beware. bidding on this one, so you can't have it. This is 
one of the pieces that caught our eye tonight. I think it's incredible. It is uh, all virtual, mostly virtual. There is a sit down dinner, but all the tables are super spread apart. So it's not gonna be as big in person as it was last year. I'm gonna try to help raise some money for big by getting people to bid online. I'll update uh, when I come back and let you know how much they raised. I believe last year they raised over $600,000, which is incredible because Erin is wanting to start, go even bigger. She wants to start Grace Place. And currently right now they have a residential area for some of the citizens to live, but she wants to take it even bigger and just have 100 acres where citizens can work and live. And it's just an incredible ministry. If you haven't heard of it, go to brookwoodingeorgetown.org. Yes, brookwoodingeorgetown.org. You can shop online. Uh, they have amazing homemade pies. Um, the cafe, if you ever come to Georgetown, the food is incredible. It's one of my favorite places in Texas that I've ever been. Um, she changes everything inside for the seasons. It is just, it's like a little haven away from home. I love that place so much. Good morning. So I wrapped up the art auction last night about 10, 10 o'clock. I think, I hope they raised a lot of money. I was bidding on about four pieces, four or five pieces. I lost out on my favorite pieces. I was bidding on the candlesticks made out of beeswax. I thought those were amazing. And then the risen, the risen painting that you guys saw. It was a, a great honor to be there with Erin last night. She was just doing incredible things for Big and they announced last night that they did secure the land for Grace Place and I think they said it was a hundred and a little over a hundred acres. So it's gonna be really amazing for the citizens to go and live and work and just bigger community for them. And Erin's goal is to you know, citizens with disabilities, their parents worry, you know, who's gonna take care of them? Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna live? Where are they gonna work? When their parents or caregivers pass away, so she wants to secure a place for them so that parents and caregivers don't have that fear whenever they go home. So, love this organization. Y'all please check out brookwoodandgeorgetown.org and I guess that's it. Okay. Okay. First plants are in. Yes. So picked up some plants. I have eggplant, broccoli, ch uh, big tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, all varieties of peppers, collard greens, lettuce, um, strawberries, arugula, spinach, potato. Mm -hmm. These are gonna go, these are gonna die um, as soon as it gets really warm, like in May probably. And then, so that'll free bet those back up. I'm gonna get limes, then I'll get squash, cucumber, sweet corn okra which hasn't come in yet because it's not warm enough so these are the, this is like the cold weather run including tomatoes and peppers okay so we get those in you have to forgive me i am not a gardener so you're planting these early march and we're gonna lose them by may the leafy lettuces yeah. will lose as soon as it gets 90 degrees probably something around there okay that they just can't take the heat. So we'll be able to harvest them and eat them through May, okay. probably, or you know, until May. Okay, yeah. but then when it opens up though, it'll open up for more, just more of the hot weather yeah. plants. I'm gonna put them in the ground. Okay. I guess I'll do a little time lapse and get them in the ground. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to, for two of these tomato plants, I'm gonna do an experiment and try an egg at the bottom before I plant two eggs. Okay. I mean, two, Two tomatoes. Okay. So hold this. Okay. We'll just remember which one I did this on. So I'll take one egg, put it right there. Scramble it. This is a Arkansas traveler. I'm gonna put it right on top of the egg. And we'll see if this guy does any better. And with tomatoes, we could run the mulch right up to the stock. Cool. Cool. All right. The garden is in. I got it all watered. Now we just wait and I wait for the warm weather plants like corn, okra, squash. Um, I'll wait for those to come in. Right now, I'm switching gears and going to the Hate You Like I Love You music video. Amber's at a Bible study. So, this is the premiere of this video. We are like one minute away. I just finished the garden and I'm gonna log in here. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for everyone to see this video. Amber and I worked so hard on this and it's one of the coolest, one of the neatest videos we've ever made. It has the most special effects that I've ever done. It's the only one I've ever done 
all night long. It was an all night shoot. It's the only one I've ever done when I'm, I have special effects on my face. Which I, my face is all beat up and bloody and anyway, it, it was really fun. I'm gonna get in here on this chat and say, I'm here. Y'all ready? Can't wait. And it's so fun to get on these premieres and read on the Granger channel. So by the time you guys see this, it's about to start. So by the time you guys see this, I'll link this at the top of the description. Usually it's like the whole family watching it. Now it's just me. Okay, so 30 seconds out. A couple things to know. After this releases, on our tomorrow, we're going to release the behind the scenes to this video. So go to the Granger channel, see the behind the scenes, kind of see the whole background of how we made it. 10 seconds, y'all. Three, two, one. Favorite part right here when he ever walks in. So everybody, when you see this, the goal is go back and see it again and again and again and again and again and again. That's the goal, we made it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I have to say now, because we mentioned a couple videos ago, we mentioned that we had something really big that we've been working on, really, really big. And this was big, but this is way bigger. This blows us out of the park, what I'm about to tell you. I originally thought we were gonna talk about this next week. There's been a change of plans. We're gonna talk about this next video. If you're watching this in real time on Tuesday, this coming Thursday, this is the Smiths episode you don't wanna miss, okay? So in the meantime, I hate to leave you on a cliffhanger. In the meantime, go watch this Hate You Like a Love You video about 50,000 times. That, that'd be a good, good round number. Watch that 50 million times. Watch the BTS that comes out on my channel tomorrow. Comment below if you like it. Comment below your thoughts about it. And then stay tuned for Thursday a massive episode, something we've been working on that I need to show you. Seriously, I cannot understate that. Be watching Thursday, okay? We'll see you then. Yee yee.